Hello, welcome to the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and update a Gantt chart with Excel. So what is a Gantt chart? A Gantt chart is a project management tool that uses a horizontal bar chart to visualize a project plan in a graphical way. The column on the left here lists the task that needs to be completed. The row at the top is a timeline showing the project schedule. The duration in days for each task is displayed on the bar here in the chart. In the table here, you can see that task one starts on 5th May, 15 May, and ends on 1st June. So the duration between 15 May and 1st June is 18 days. You can see in the chart that the duration for task one is 18 days as well. Once you have created your Gantt chart, you just need to update the, the start date and the end date. And Excel will automatically update your Gantt chart. Now let's change some of these dates and see what happened. So if I change the start date for task seven from 10 July, to 5th July, let's see what happened. you see, all right, so it changes. And if I change the end date for task seven from 19 July to 30th July, all right, you'll see this stretches and the duration stretches. So if I change from 19 to 30th, the duration you'll see for 15 days when I hit enter, it will change, all right, to 26 days. So here it automatically updates to 26 days as well. So how can we create a Gantt chart like this in Excel? Let's dive in and create it. So let's move to my tab here. So in this tab here, I have some data. I want to create a Gantt chart using this data. The first column here contains the task. The second column here contains the start date for each task. And the third column here contains the end date for each task. I want to calculate the duration Right, I want to calculate the duration in days for each of the task. So to calculate the duration for the task, right, this is the formula to use. Let me show you. So you type in equals, and then you click on the end date minus the start date and plus one and when you hit enter you get you get 18 days so it, excel calculates for you what is the duration in days from 15 may to first june all right so the formula turns to 18. this means that the duration for task one which starts from 15 may and ends on first june is 18 days now if i drag this formula down the formula will be copied for the cells below it. And you will see that the duration in days will appear for the rest of the task as well. Next, I want to change these dates here to a format without the year. So to do that, select all the dates, excluding the header, right click it, okay, and choose format cells. Then in the format cell here, look for custom, click on it. And at this here, delete these things and type DD, which is date date and MMM, which is month. So I want you to type it in this format. Date date, month, month, month. And after you type this, click on the OK. And you'll see that the dates 
pinch. Right? The year has disappeared from the date. Next, to display this data as a Gantt chart, first select the first two columns, the task as well as the start date. All right. Then go to the Insert tab and go to the Insert column or the bar chart. Then you click onto this. Oops, let's try again. Select this, go to Insert, go to here. And let's pick the under the 2D stack bar, choose the stack bar. All right. Now, all the tasks in my table on the left here are displayed as the vertical axis label on the chart. But the tasks in this chart are listed in reverse order from my table. In my table, task 1 is at the top. But in the chart, task 8 is at the top. So put, to put them in the same order, right-click on the vertical axis la label. And then select the format axis. And then go to Axis options. All right. Let's scroll down. And you will see categories in reverse order. Click on it. Now, the tasks in the chart, you will notice that they are now in the same order as the table with task one at the top and task eight at the bottom. So if I want to display the duration of each task on this chart, click on the chart and go to chart design tab and look for select data. Click on it. And you will see the select data source dialog box. Next, you'll find this uh, ad. Click on it. When you click on it, you will see the edit series dialog box open. In the edit, in the uh, series name, this is for you to name your data series. All right, and the uh, series value is for you to select the data series. So in this case, I want to name the data series as duration. I can either type duration here, all right, or I can select the cells containing the word duration. Next, for series values, click on the up arrow here and select the cells containing duration, excluding the header. All right, then go back here, click OK, and OK. So you'll notice that duration appears here. These bars here represents the duration in days for each of the tasks. Now, I don't need these blue bars. So to hide these blue bars, right click on any of them, click onto Format Series, all right? Then go to View, expand this, and I'm going to click no field. Once you click no field, you will see this bar disappears. 
Né? See, the blue bars on the left are now gone. Next, I want to modify the start dates on the horizontal axis labels. The whole project starts on 15 May and ends on, starts on 15 May here and ends on 10 August. But the horizontal axis on these charts start and end on different dates. It doesn't start on 15 May, all right? The, the chart starts somewhere around here and ends further up. All right? So the whole project starts on 15 May and ends on 10 August. So to modify the dates on the horizontal axis, right click on the horizontal axis labels and then Let's go to format axis. All right. And in these axis options here, you'll see this bounds. So type in 15 May and hit. Once I hit enter on the keyboard, you will see this gap closes. All right. So I type in 15 May and hit enter on the keyboard. So you'll see that the start date label on the horizontal axis is updated to 15 May as per the first column here. Now, for the end date, same thing. Right click this. All right. Format axis. Then you will come here. and type 10-August and hit enter. So you'll see that the end date label on the horizontal axis is also updated. Next, I want to display the duration here for each task on these bars. To do that, right click on the bars and click on the add data labels. Now, let's beautify the chart. So to change the color of the bars, right click on any of the bars, click onto the fill, and choose the color that you want to fill. So for me, I want to choose the color gray. Next. To format the vertical axis, click onto it, go to the home menu, and I want to bow it. I want to change the color of the font to blue. So you can also format the horizontal axis here. So click on it, go to home, then I want to bow it, and I want to change the color to blue as well. To change the chart background, click on the chart. Okay, click on the chart, then you go to home. Okay, click on to the chart, go to home, home menu, and then click on this. This is the fill color, click on it and choose the color that you want. So in this case, I want to change it to gold. So if you want this table to be displayed on the chart, go to, click on this chart, click on the plus sign, and look for data table, click on it, all right? So you have the project start date, and the duration. So if I want to add some axis uh, titles, click on the chart, click on the plus sign, and look for axis titles, click on it. So you can change 
the chart title by clicking onto it. So select the text and I want to type GAN chart. Select this, you can bold it. So you can change the vertical axis title also by clicking on it, selecting it, and type what type over it. And I will type the word task. This looks a bit cluttered. You can and you can enlarge it by dragging it. All right, here you go. This is your Gantt chart. That's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.